friends, it's Carolyn Zook here with Zook Stitch. Welcome to my channel about cross stitch. I'm so glad that you are here spending part of your day or your evening with me. Welcome, welcome. Today is Saturday, June 17th, 2023. We are halfway through June. I don't know how that's possible. Um, I have my coffee this morning because I'm having a hard time waking up, even though it's 11 a.m. <laughs> when I'm filming this, but there you go. Um, it was a pretty, pretty regular week. Um, we, I'm trying to think if anything exciting happened this week. I was just going to say we're expecting to have rain this weekend, which is super wonderful. We really, I mean, I know, I feel like everybody always says like, oh, we need the rain. We really need the rain. <laughs> um, so it's supposed to rain Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Uh, and I cannot wait. It's supposed to be cooler temperatures. I'm just so excited about that. But yeah, so this is my last week of my side, my like side teaching job. Finals, it's finals week and then grades are due on Tuesday. So I'll be spending a lot of this weekend grading. And then next week is my last week of my summer class for my main job. So, whew, and then I'll get like a couple months off with no teaching at all, which um, will be a nice break. Uh, so that's what's going on here. Uh, those of you who are attending Weekend B for StitchCon, I hope you're having a fabulous time. Um, I've seen one video so far. Candy, the 614 uh, stitcher, did a great video a recap of her time at Weekend A. Um, Gary and Ronnie just released their video last night, so I haven't watched it yet um, of their recap of Weekend A. Uh, but I look forward to hearing if you went to Weekend B, how it was for you. So that's, I think, everything. It's been a pretty quiet week, which I am not complaining about. That's absolutely fine. Uh, still getting caught up on comments, of course. Uh, so let's just get right into the whips. Let's get right into the whips. So first up is my 25-7 piece. 25-7, it's Cross Stitch 25-7 is a group that's run by Melanie of The Soulful Stitcher. It is on Facebook. It is open to anybody. Just search for cross stitch 25 7 25 slash 7 uh, so the idea is that you stitch 25 minutes a day or 25 stitches a day on a piece any piece you want that's that's it that's what it is it's just a place to encourage you there's really very little rules so my 25 7 piece uh, for the month of June is the blue is Tudor B by the blue flower so that is what it will look like when it is done and I think I am stitching this on uh, country, vintage country mocha. I think 32 count. I think that's what it's on. I'll have to double check, but that's what I think. I, I didn't write it down when I started, so I'm not entirely sure. I'm going to have to pull out some country vintage, vintage country mocha from my stash and just see if it's the same. So this is where I got to. So I basically got this whole side is done now. So what's left in the middle is there's a crown and uh, not as big of this honeycomb, but a smaller honeycomb right under there. And then I can start on the middle. So seeing as how we are halfway through June and I still have the whole middle to do, I am thinking this is going to need a couple of days because I've only stitched on this for 25-7. So I love it. I think the colors are gorgeous. Um, but I think it's going to need some dedicated days uh, to it. So I'm going to try to incorporate that in at least a couple days, you know, throughout the end, the second half of the month anyway, to get this one done. This is on my Year of Whips, which is also a group run by uh, Melanie from Soulful Stitching. Well, it's in her Soulful Stitching Facebook group, Year of Whips. So I do want to get this done. I am thinking the crown, I am thinking of doing it in a cry neck just to give it a little, little bit of sparkle. So let me know what you think. Let me show you what that would look like. So it's kind of hard to see, but there's a crown right in there. And I was thinking of doing it. And I even have it in the package here. Oops. And it's coming undone. This is, it's probably number four, Krynik. Oh, it doesn't say. It's probably number four, Brayden. Sure. How we doing? So, 
a little sparkle for the crown, I think, will be nice. Uh, so that is Tudor B, which I've been working on. And, you know, 25 minutes goes really fast. So it's not a huge piece. It just feels like it is taking me a long time. Um, and I still have the whole center to do, which um, I'm, I'm a little nervous I won't get it done <laughs> by the end of the month. And not that I have to get it done by the end of the month, but I've set my own goals. And in order to meet my goals for Year of Whips, I do really want to get it done by the end of the month. Speaking of goals for Year of Whips, another one that's on my Year of Whips is Winter Quakers. And I worked on this. I just gave it one more day. This is by Rosewood Manor. I just gave it one more day, I think last Saturday. So I don't even remember really what I worked on. Um, I think we're, we're over in this area somewhere. So let's take a look and see what we worked on. This is on a picture of this plus 28 count dwarf is the color. Um, it's the called for, and I'm using the called for Valdani threads with this. So yeah, so this is done. This I don't think was done before. So that is done. And then of course, some of those little tiny snowflakes. And as I mentioned each time, the snowflakes, these little snowflakes that are scattered throughout, which there are a million of, um, it calls for one strand of the Valdani floss. I'm doing mine in the three strands just so they show up better. And I like it. I like them. I like the way they show up on here. So the goal, this is on my year of whips. The goal is to finish this by the end of the year. And this probably won't be coming out. It might come out one more time yet this month. Uh, and I don't think it will come out at all next month. But then August will be pushing towards a finish. August, September, October, November, December. So I would have five months. It's doable if we focus. So that is Winter Quakers. And then Spring Montage for my seasonal Sunday piece. This is getting beat up a little bit this is what it will look like spring montage this is artwork by janet stever it is charted by pain free crafts and of course i'm up here in the first block i am stitching all of these on a 32 count white lugana and so this piece let me let me show it to you we are making some good progress on this actually look at where we are now. So here's where we're at. And I just worked on filling and you can see that block there, right? There's kind of a checkerboard in the background and you can kind of see that coming through there. So I'm just continuing. I'm trying to kind of straighten out this line and then continue forward. But that is where we are at. I think there's a little bud right here that maybe I'll fill in this weekend so we can get that done and just kind of move her, move her along there. This piece I ended up getting 415 stitches in, and I think because this block, I mean, there's a little bit of um, confetti in there, but mostly it was, you know, a single color, and that really helped get me that many stitches in that state, because a lot of this is, um, especially up in here, is pretty confetti heavy. I am now, get this, I'm at 3.01% done. 3% done on this piece. So that's great. And we're still going to work on it two more days this month. So I'm going to work on it through the end of the month, even though summer technically starts uh, next week, I think it is. Oh my gosh, next week already. So, um, but I'm going to work on it through this month. So two more days that we'll get and that will go away for the year. And then we'll pull out the summer Quaker or summer Quakers, summer Quakers is done. Uh, summer montage. So that will be exciting. Uh, this is so much that I love working on these and I think I've mentioned before, but for next year, I think I'm thinking of dedicating Saturdays and Sundays to them. So stay tuned for that. Okay. Our next piece that I worked on. So this is, this is fun because we haven't seen this one in a very long time. Uh, this was is scenic farm. So for the magazine monthly cross stitch group, which I co-run with my dear friend Robin of Bird's Eye Stitches. We do a monthly theme and a monthly acrostic, and this is not a magazine piece. I usually try to make the theme a magazine piece. I haven't been great with that this year, but that's okay. Um, the theme for this month is farm, and the acrostic is 
manure. <laughs> so for farm, of course, I had to pull out Scenic Farm, which is a dimensions kit. It will look like this. And I love this piece because it reminds me of the farms in Nebraska where I, I did not grow up on a farm, but it reminds me of a lot of the, the look of Nebraska. <laughs> um, so I love this piece. It reminds me of where I grew up. And as I mentioned last week, I'm restarting this one for the, I started it, I restarted it, and then I restarted it again. So what is this, the third time I've started it? Uh, because I have decided with these dimensions kits, I enjoy them more if I just do two strands of thread over, um, two over two, and I don't worry about half stitches, and I don't worry about three strands, four strands, sometimes even six strands. So I'm just doing it my way, and I think it will still look very pretty when it's done. I'm sorry, I'm not... Uh oh, here. I'm looking for the tag to know what fabric I'm on this. Okay, so I'm stitching this on a Color and Cotton Moonstone 32 Count Lugana. And let me show you where we got to. So we restarted it. I worked on it for four days, and this is where we got to. So it doesn't look like much, but I promise you there is a lot of stitches in that top. A lot of the same color. There are blends. I am doing the blends, um, you know, where it's one strand of this, one strand of that. So I am doing those. These are the tops of some trees. And then this is the silo of the barn. I got tired of doing all this sky stuff. So I went over here and started in on the barn and then started working my way backwards. This counted for the theme, Scenic Farm, Farm. It, and it counted for the acrostic uh, in manure, A for animals, because animals are on a farm, N because it reminds me of Nebraska where I grew up, and E because I'm stitching this on an even weave. So I got four days, over, like 12 hours of stitching on this. Doesn't look like much, but I'll tell you, because I haven't frogged, this is where I was before. It is a lot further <laughs> than where I was before. So that's where we're at, and I'm super happy with that, and I think I think we're good to go now on this. I think we can uh, move forward and maybe stop avoiding it, maybe a little bit. So that is Scenic Farm. That was super fun to work on and pull out because I've been avoiding that one. And then the last piece that I worked on this week was I did pull out Purple Rain. Oh, I love this bag that Debbie made. Um... And so Purple Rain, this is what it looks like. It is charted by Heaven and Earth Designs. I am doing the mini version, just the mini. Uh, and this one is stitched, it's all called for anchor, an anchor floss. So I'm stitching it all in anchor. And I am stitching it on a piece of 18 count Ada that was hand dyed by my dear friend EJ. And I'm going to show you the starting photo. So this is the last time I'm going to work on it this month. And so it's going to go away. So let me show you where I was at the beginning of the month right here. And this is where I'm at now. So here's where we got to. So some good progress. I mean, it still doesn't look like much because there's so much background. Um, I am, I am getting in a groove with this. I will say, I know that first day that I worked on it, I was like, I mean, there's big blocks of color, which is fun in a different way, but like, I think also I'm not used to so much block of color. Um, I got, so I worked on this last night. I got 444 stitches and I am now at 2.58% done. And when I sat down last night to start, I was at 1.95% done. So it's just gonna, you know, it's gonna take some time, even though it's a mini, but I'm gonna put it away for now and... He'll come out again, you know, later sometime. I'm not sure when, but I like to work on him in June because uh, his birthday is June 7th. Candy, the 614 stitcher, is also working on this piece, and she tries to work on him on the 7th of every month, which I kind of like that idea. It just gets a little bit of progress done, um, and so maybe I'll adopt that for next year, uh, working on him on the 7th. We'll see. 
So that was fun. So you could see the progress in that. So I worked on a total of three days this month and now it's going to go, it's going to go rest now. Um, so that's all I worked on. Scenic farm took up most of my time this week. I do have haul. So I do have some haul to go over. Uh, so let's do that. So First up, I got part eight of The Woodland Christmas by Tiny Modernist. I get this from Crazy Annie's. It's a cute little squirrel holding an ornament. So that will go into, I have started it. I have number one is done, but I haven't done anything more on that. So I do need to get going on that. This was a stash and loan piece uh, that I picked up, Reflex, Reflex de Soie. I'm not sure I'm pronouncing that right. This is Emile Martin, 1894. I am not a sampler stitcher, but I love these colors and I love the flower floral border. I'm not sure. This says A-M-A-M-A-N. And I'm not sure. I haven't opened this to read it or translate it to see what the meaning of that is. So if anybody knows, you can let me know. Um, so I might change that. I'm not sure. I'll have to see kind of what the what the idea is there. Um, but I love the colors and I love the flowers and I love the alphabets and that. I know. I don't know who I am either. I, I don't know who I am either. Okay. So next up, what I got in the mail was I got a huge piece of fabric by Fabrics by Stephanie who was at the Stitching in the Wild um, retreat um, in May. This is French Blue. It is a 32 count Lugana and it is a half yard and I got it to stitch One Nation on. Uh, so let me kind of show you, let me do a, a floss toss. Um, so these are the colors, red, white, and blue. We are starting this on July 4th, my friend Andrea and I. So I think that will work really nicely. Sorry, it's still in the packaging, but um, you get the idea. It's a half yard because you need that big of a piece for this piece. But I really like it on the blue. I saw somebody at the retreat who had it on the blue. And again, it's this piece, One Nation by Bygone Stitches. So if you have this, have started it or it's in your stash or you want to start it with us, please feel free to join us. Uh, we're going to be starting this on July 4. So now I have everything I need. I have the fabric. Oh, that fabric was called French Blue. Uh, French Blue, which I think is funny because it's an American piece. Um. Anyway, so that's what it will look like. So that's fun. So I got that. Put that here. Then I also got, so this is, I did not get this chart this week. I showed you this. This I got from Colorado Cross Stitcher in Fort Collins when I was there in May. Moho Stitches in the library um, with my friend Jesse. We're going to sti stitch this together. We don't have a start date yet, but um, if you want to start this with us, you can go ahead and kit it up. I got the thread pack from Garan Stitchery. Look at those colors. So I think I had heard there's only two crossover colors. One of you told me there's only two crossover cover colors with what this chart calls for cottage garden threads. There is a DMC conversion and there's a Weeks gassed classic color works conversion as well. But these are super fun to work with. So I just got the thread pack of uh, for Mo, uh, in the library and it comes with a ring. So I am all set. I also bought the fabric. It is upstairs, but I bought the fabric when I was at Colorado Cross Stitcher. It's not the called for, but it's very close. So I am ready to start this one. So much for my year of being careful with starts. I'm going to start this one sometime in the fall. I think we decided we haven't set a date yet, but you have time if you want to start that with us as well. Okay. Then I placed another order. <laughs> okay. So I placed another order with Garan, um, and it's these colors, these beautiful threads that I got. Aren't they gorgeous? And I got these because I was talked into Kay and Jerrica forced my arm 
to start E Pluribus Unum by Jan Hicks Creates. So we're going to start this one July 1st. So again, if you have this or want it, um, go ahead and get it up and we'll do a stitch along. I had the hashtag, but I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, it's probably something like E Pluribus Unum, Unum Stitch Along, Sal. I'll get that for you next time. But anyway, so we're going to start this on July 1st, which is funny because it's Canada Day. And so I got some of the threads from Garon. So that will be fun. I don't have the fabric. Uh, I think I have fabric in my stash that will work for this. Um, the stitch count is 114 by 171. So if you do a like a 32 count or 16 count Ada over two, the finished piece will be about seven by 10.7 inches. So uh, a fat quarter will be fine, will be plenty for that. So I'll have something upstairs that will work for this. Okay, so I got that. And then when I ordered those threads, you can't just order threads, right? And so there's another one that I had to get from Jan Hicks Creates, which is the love is love, which I love. So I think that's so pretty. Um, I don't know when I'm going to start this one, but I would like to stitch it for my cousin. Um, maybe also for work. So I got that because I had to have that in my stash. So that's really pretty. So then we're, we're almost done with stash. Um, I um, had to order just a few more colors from 123 Stitch for um, E Pluribus Unum. So I got some of those colors from 123 Stitch because they had them in stock. And then again, can't just buy threads without anything else. So I got, this has been on my wish list for a very long time. This is a Kohler Design Studio. It is called The Woods Behind My House. I'm going to show you this picture. It is a computer generated picture. It does not do the chart justice. The woods behind my house. I think it is so pretty. Um, it says the woods behind my house offer up an artist's palette of color and forms. Bees are essential to plant pollination. Eastern blue jay. There's just kind of, but I think it's so pretty. So I got that to add to my stash. I have a lot of cooler designs and I have not stitched any of them before. So um, I do have the four seasonal ones, um, which I will start someday when my montages are done, I guess. I don't know. So it's, there's just not enough time. There's just not enough time in the day, is there? Okay, so that's Stash. Um, now, let's do some giveaways. It's been a while since we've done some giveaways. Um, and so I have four charts that I'm going to give away. And... These will be open internationally. Uh, just be 18 so you can give me your address. I don't think there's anybody under 18 that watches anyway, but just we have to say it. Um, and don't say giveaway or anything like that um, because I know there's been spammers. There's been spammers in, my, in our Facebook groups as well, which I know has been happening to a lot of other people who run Facebook groups. They also have been getting spammers. It's very odd because usually we're very, very careful with – you know, when we ask you to answer the questions, um, that's to make sure you're human and that you, even if you're a new stitcher, it's not that we care what your answer is. I think one of the questions is, what's your favorite fabric to stitch on? We don't care if you say Ada or linen or even weave or whatever. It's just, you know, kind of, do you know the lingo, right? I mean, and a lot of, and so, um, that's one way that we are able to kind of decline somebody who's trying to get in who may be a, either a bot or if your account gets hacked, which I think has happened. Because uh, sometimes even if we have mutual friends in common or we're both members of multiple groups together, um, if you don't answer the questions, we will still decline your membership request. And that's just because... We've had so much spam, unfortunately. So just make sure that you are answering those questions. And if you do get declined, it's not personal. It's just you didn't answer the questions, and we have to make sure that you are who you are. Um, so 
That said, so these uh, charts will be open internationally. Um, so we're going to do, they are mostly by the Bay Needle Art. So by Donna Bayless. So these are really great charts. So first one is Blue Hawaiian Garden. Blue Hawaiian Garden. Um, called for DMC. It is 102 stitches by 69 stitches. So not too big. And if you want to be considered for this, say the word blue, B-L-U-E, blue. We're going to have a color theme for our keywords. Next up, we have a stint, Stitch an Inch Garden by By the Bay. And this is pink and plum. Pink and plum. And so um, you get... One flower square is 28 by 28. If you do it with the border, it's 42 by 42. So you kind of mix and match. I think you I think you get um, the charts for four of these, these four flowers. Um, and if you want to be, if you want to be considered for this, uh, say pink, P-I-N-K, pink. Next up is another stitch an inch by By the Bay. And this one is orange. Orange and apricot, it's called. Really, really pretty. So the keyword for this one is going to be orange. O-R-A-N-G-E. If you want to be considered for that. And then the last one is not by the bay. And it's not going to be a color. This is a Madame Chantilly. E.T. I, I, my pronunciation is terrible. E.T. I think it is. It is French for summer. So I thought this one is appropriate. So you have a little watermelon, a flower, and like a, a cake. Um, and you could change this out with your initials or something like that, or the year, whatever you want. Or you could keep it as the French. Um, so for this one, if you want to be entered to win this one, say summer in English. Because <laughs> that's what I'm so sure is summer. Um yeah, I think it's really cute. You could even pull out each one of these uh, separately if you just liked, you know, one or two of them. You could do that as well. So those are our giveaways for this time. So I'll draw up winners next week. And then we're into plans now. So my plans for this coming week, I'm going to continue working on Tutor B for 25-7 and I do think I'm going to give it, maybe tonight, I'm going to give it a full evening worth of work and really make some good progress on that one. Spring montage, we will work on on Sunday for seasonal Sunday. And then the piece I'm going to focus on, you're all going to be shocked and surprised, the piece I'm going to focus on this week. So my acrostic is now done for the month because um, I, I, most of it was for Scenic Farm. But I'm going to work on for five days this week. So it's going to be kind of boring next week, but is Hearthside Christmas by Erica Michaels. So this is also on my year of whips and you know, I want to get her done. Um, so I'm going to work on this and I will show you where I'm at. This is another color and cotton piece. I think it's called Pearwood, I think. So here's where we're starting at. Whoops. Here's where we're starting at. So we are maybe halfway done. We got we got some work to do. So I'm going to give it five days this month and five days next month, and hopefully that will be enough to get it done. We'll see. So that's where we're at. Almost halfway. So that's the plans for this week. Um, yeah, I feel like it's pretty quick. Um, things are definitely quieter at work than they have been, which is nice. And, you know, it's just kind of, we're moving into that kind of quiet part of the year, which I am not mad about. Um, I think that's, oh, wait, I have more haul. <laughs> Hold on. Um, I placed an order, uh, from my favorite needle minder, um, person, which is Sharice Smith from Stitchingly Along. She has an Etsy shop. I, um, oh, she has a Facebook group too. I usually buy from her in one of the stash unload pages. Uh, but she has, I love her needle minders because 
they're lightweight and they're flat and you know stick really nicely and they're really cute so I got this fox one she was having a sale I got this llama one I think she's so cute that would have been great for my you are amazing I got this honeybee one with the daisies of course I got this black cat one because I love black kitty cats and I have one. I'm owned by one, I should say. And then I got this one because apparently I'm going to be stitching some patriotic pieces. So I figured, well, I better have a patriotic needle minder to go with it. So I got those. Those came in the mail as well. So that is everything. So I hope you have a wonderful week. I hope that you get lots of stitching in and stay safe and stay healthy. And I'll see you all next week. Bye.